Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you are doing fantastic. And today we got us a really good sized battle box. But before we get into it, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Ring the notification bell so you do get notified when I upload new content. And with that, friends, let's do it. Okay, so we got Battle Box. And I'm gonna tell you, this is a pretty large box for them, and it's heavy. I mean, it's, it's heavy, it's got some weight to it. So I hope, man, it's gotta be something good in here, right? Let's see, what is it, how much does this thing weigh? Oh, well, weighs 15 pounds. So apparently uh, heavy is subjective, but yeah. Okay, so Battle Box, if you are interested in them, I will have a link to them in the description box of this video. Man, they got what a basic, advanced, a pro, and a pro plus. And I hope this is right. It goes from 35 to like 170 a month, depending on which box you get. And I think this is gonna be probably the pro plus, uh, blah, blah, the pro plus box. So yeah. All right, so let's see what's in this box. Ooh, man, there's all kinds of stuff up in here. And it seems like the weight was because of the sheer volume of things. There's a lot of stuff in there. Okay, so we got Battle Box Mission Brief number 94, Adventure Delivered, indeed. And I've said this before, but man, these, these uh, their little card, Mission Brief card here, they've got the prettiest pictures, you know, on, on them. And this, this one does not disappoint. You want to check that out? Real pretty. Man. Yeah, that's, that's really pretty. All right. So, mission 94. Let's see what we got. It says, what's up, Battle Boxers? Well, the end of 2022 has come, and it's been a very exciting year, to say the least. All of us here at Battle Box want to thank each and every one of you for being part of our family. We're looking forward to an amazing 2023. It's a very good outlook. And it says they're hard at work to make it the best year Battle Box ever. But enough about next year. You have Mission 94 sitting in front of you, so let's not waste any more time. Flip this page, which we're not gonna do. We're just gonna start looking at stuff. We'll go to the card here in a little bit, and here's something right here that kinda came open from UCO, so we'll take it first. And looks like, yeah, the package just kinda came open a little bit, and that's okay. But we got a candle, a candle lantern? Okay, so she hangs like so, and I'm assuming that we just take it out. There we go. Oh yeah, there we go. We got a big old candle. Man, that's a big old candle. Man, that is a big candle. Yeah, that's a nice size candle. All right, and it just goes, I'm, so I'm, I'm assuming, or at least I'm not going to assume, but I'm going to just say that I'm pretty sure you could probably go to UCO's website to buy the replacement candles for this. And yeah, it's got a nice, nice size little hook there. And yeah. Awesome. Really cool. Okay. So let's see. I guess that's a visual port and a visual indication for for how you uh but can you can you limit the light by oh yeah you can, okay. So so you just you can crack it like that just a little bit. Or you can fully open it like that to have the the whole candle exposed so you can have a way to you know control how much light actually comes out of it that's actually really neat i've never seen i've never seen something i've never seen anything like this before so that that's actually really neat awesome something that we'll definitely have to uh try out you know camping a little mood lighting you know what i'm saying all right Okay, so we got another thing of pale blue. Uh, these are this is a set of four triple A's, and I have multiple. I've got I've gotten these before, and I actually have a video on these pale blue lithium rechargeable batteries. Uh, one thing I can say about them is I love them. Uh, they're awesome. Yeah, and I'm gonna tell you one thing I do like about them: uh, the the little the little uh, cord that they come with. It actually has four ports on them because they're micro USB to USB, so you can actually 
plug in all four batteries off this, you know, octopus uh, cord and then just plug it into the USB, it'll charge all four batteries. So yeah. So yeah, if you haven't jumped on pale blue, I don't know what you're doing. Get get you a pale blue. They're good. They work. I love them. So yeah. Always welcome to get some more of those. I have a feeling this is going to be a blade of some kind, so we'll kind of hang on to that for a minute. And let's see, what is this? Now this, okay, this is interesting. This is a, a step for your vehicle that goes into the latch for the, your door, like your car door. And it, it provides you a step. Like there's a depiction there. Right there. You just hook this this little thing this little thing, you know, into into the, the latch of your of your door. You open your car door where you have your latch, you just hook this thing in there and it gives you a step so you can access you know, if you have like a like this guy here, that's probably like a minivan or something. I'm assuming, I would guess. Looks like a kind of like a minivan type situation going on there. But if you got stuff, you know, on a roof compartment, you know, and, and you're on, in, not in a truck, and you're in like a mid-sized vehicle, and, and it's, you know, hard to get to that roof access. This is something that's awesome. I don't have a need for this because I am a, I'm a guy. I don't drive a minivan, and I'm in the south, so, hey, you know, I got a truck. So, this really isn't going to be something that I'm going to need, but if I ever decide to throw some crap on the on the roof of my truck, I've got a little step. And I will definitely try this out just to see out of my own genuine curiosity how this thing actually works. So, yeah. Not going to say it's wasted because I will use it just out of curiosity. Okay. okay. Rhino USA Superior Power Sport Accessories. 0 to 75 PSI heavy duty tire pressure gauge. Okay. Well, they give you the step for a car, and now they give you a heavy-duty tire pressure gauge. Okay. Never seen stuff like this in a battle box. Have I? I don't think, I mean, I've seen, I think battle box one time gave me the organizer, right, that goes on the back of the seat. I think I got something like that for a car, but I don't remember getting stuff like this certainly not like a tire gauge but let's see it's got a nice braided steel line to it so that's kind of kind of cool got a reset and yeah it's, it's just a it's a tire gauge well, I mean yeah it's a tire gauge I don't know how excited I can get about a tire gauge but yeah man I got tire gauge all right Oh, they get, wait, wait, here you go. Get excited. They give you a bag that has a rhino on it. There you go. Yes. This is what I've been waiting for. This is awesome. Okay. All right, that's, that's the best I can do for you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. And we got rhino stickers. Now I'm excited. I'm excited, man. This tire gauge is awesome. It's awesome. All right. All right, there you go. Tire gauge. Let's see. Man, I need some more room. It's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. What is this? Pod. Power on demand. www.thepodx.com Has a three-year warranty. I don't even know what is it. What, what is it? A, conver uh, a conversions technology company. It has a super bright LED, an on-off, fully waterproof, uh, super durable polycarbonate body. Okay. So is it just a light, visible, waterproof, impact resistant, and magnetic? Okay, says our, they call this a flare. Now I don't see that nowhere on here, but it's on the, okay, it says it's a flare. It features 16 super bright LEDs. Really? Okay, all right. That provide 360 degrees of bright flashing light that can be seen a mile away. Okay. Uses emergency kits, camping survival, first responders, tow truck operators. Bug out bag. Cannot forget that. 
Man, you want to sell some stuff, man, you just put bug out bag, zombie apocalypse in there. Matter of fact, I guarantee you, I probably get more views on these videos, man, if I just put zombie apocalypse in the title. Whoa, that's a lot of LEDs, man. Can I, can I be cool and turn it on? Where's, where do you put the, so I have to take this whole thing apart to get to the batteries. It does have a little hook. It has a little hook right here that you can, you can hang it, all right? Apparently, I don't know, didn't, didn't, I, didn't I read it said it was rechargeable or something? Am I crazy? Okay, I'm crazy. Okay, it's a hockey puck that's got a ton of LEDs, and if you're in distress, you throw this bad boy out, and apparently this thing will get some attention, but it, it, don't ha it doesn't have any batteries. And I need two Phillips head screws to take those off, and apparently the case completely, yeah, yeah, it's split down the middle, so it completely comes apart. And I'm assuming it probably takes, like, maybe AAA, AAA batteries, which could be why they gave you the rechargeable lithium AAA batteries. Battle box, I see what you're doing. You trying to be sneaky? You trying to make all this stuff fit together? Yeah, which I'm not gonna lie, that is nice. If if this thing truly takes AAA batteries, which it looks like it probably would take AAA batteries, so yeah. There we go. Okay. Oh, here's something that is heavy. Okay, and it is from the Rhino USA people. They made the greatest tire pressure gauge ever. They gave us some motorcycle tie down strap. Uh oh, wait. Now I have not gotten one of these yet. Is it a sticker? Wait, is it a, is this, is this a sticker? Is this a sticker? Come on, battle box. What are you doing to me? Is this a sticker? I'm sorry. I know everybody's probably yelling at me. This is a sticker. Check that out. This is a cool sticker. This is battle box. And I'm, that's right. I'm doing this live. Let's see. Uh, where can you guys see? You guys can see over here. I'll put Battle Box right there. Look at that. First go. Perfectly straight. Put it right next to Going Gear EDC. They can fight it out. Okay. Well, that was, that was a nice little surprise. Okay, so this is some motorcycle tie-down set it says two heavy duty inch and a half by eight foot tie down straps and a heavy duty drawstring bag okay now i will say this because i have a pickup truck i am always needing straps because as somebody that has straps straps just somehow disappear don't know they just do i have like 10 straps in my truck then suddenly i have four don't know where the other ones went. Don't know if somebody borrowed them. And you know, if you got friends that borrow stuff, you know what friends do? They don't bring stuff back. They conveniently forget. How about that? Not, it's not malicious. It's just, hey, you're just your friend, you know. They can uh, forget to give you stuff back, so it's all right. Okay, one thing I will say, these are some, these are some heavy-duty straps. These, are, these, these straps are really nice. The only thing I don't like, I don't like... This type, I would prefer like a small ratchet strap to, to, to these things. I just, I don't trust their, their holding ability. And I know, I know they're good. I know they're good. You know, I just, that's just me. Because I've, I've hauled stuff my whole life and tied down a lot of loads of everything you can think of. And I just, I, I just, I'm, I like ratchet straps. But I do like the hooks because they're proper hooks. And they have clasp on them. I really, I really love that. And, and guys that use a lot of straps, they'll know how nice that is. And also, they give you a tie back here for because this is for a motorcycle. So that's that's really cool. So yeah, this this is this is really good. I, I really dig it. Uh, like I said, I don't have a motorcycle. You know, this day and age, with everybody driving on their cell phones. I uh, would not really want to drive a motorcycle, even though I have thought about maybe revisiting buying a motorcycle. And, yeah, very quickly, uh, 86 that idea because, yeah, it seems like you get ran over real easy because people just don't pay attention and, you know, so, yeah.
All right, so we got a card here for pale blue. Oh, what is this? I guess this is just an information card, and apparently this knife company that we haven't looked at, we got a 25% off. And here, here's the code. Hopefully that will focus. I'll leave it up for just a second if you want to pause that and use it. And check it out, man. It says this code, this code right here, is good until the end of 20... Oh, uh, no. Whoa, wait a minute. I'm sorry. I got, I got carried away. It's good till the end of January 2023. There's the particulars again. Hopefully it'll focus and you can pause that and read it. But it says basically from 12-1-2022 to January 31st, 2023, use that code and you will get 25% off on this knife, which we haven't looked at yet. And finally, the last thing in here, and this is what's making this box so heavy, and this is finally everything. Another set from Rhino, and these are regular proper ratchet tie-down straps, which, yes, I love. These, these will definitely not go to waste. These will go right into my, my bag in the back of my truck of all of the other straps that I have. So yeah. And they're the same, you know, fair. They have, man, these are really, really, really robust hooks. And I do like the clasp. So we got blue, which is my favorite color. So yeah, awesome. Okay. All right. And we got a little choking strap there. All right. And we got uh, two, we got two straps and we got two ratchets. All right. So, you know, this, I, I, I'm going to tell you, I was not expecting to get <laughs> ratchet straps and a tire gauge and the, the car stuff in a battle box. Uh, I'm not disappointed. I'm actually happy because these are really nice straps from, what was Rhino, Rhino USA. These are actually really nice straps. And I will say this, these things will not get wasted. You know, I, I will use them. And they, the, rat, the ratchets seem really, really, they seem really nice. I mean, but at the end of the day, it's a ratchet. I do like it has a, a wider handle here than, than my little ratchets have. So, yeah. Yeah, these, these are good. These are good. Like them. And they give you a little carry bag. And they give you stickers and all that good stuff. So I have literally a ton of little Rhino stickers. Which I may have to take one out and, and put a Rhino sticker up there, too. Okay, so, not going to complain. Man, I like, I like these ratchet straps, so that's cool. All right, all right, let's get to the knife. I know everybody's probably yelling at their uh, tablet or, or whatever, saying, man, come on, man, get to, get to the knife. All right, let's see. Let's see. It says, warning, read the instructions before opening or using the knife inside. Oh, well, we'll see about that. Tell me what to do. Man, I will use I will use this knife and I won't look at nothing. How about that? What you, what you think about that, huh? Ooh. Okay. All right. Okay. And everybody, I had a, a few comments because I had said something in the last video about not knowing what these particular little cleaning cloths are, are called like what the actual name and I, and I had several people say that they're they're just like mic they're, they're just a microfiber cloth and being a, a car person like a show car person when when i think of a microfiber like little towel or something i think of like microfiber that we use in the car industry and it's definitely not this so yeah, I never in a million years would have thought to call this a microfiber, but apparently that's what this is called. Uh, I've had several people comment and tell me that this is a microfiber cloth, and, and I really do appreciate you guys for, for straightening me out. Because yeah, I, I just, I don't know. I never really knew. Like, I get these all the time. I get them in every sunglass case that I buy, and, and a lot of knives are starting to come with these. You know, so yeah, microfiber. There you go. And we got, oh, now I'll tell you what, we got a little, a little uh, sticker, which is cool. It's a little knife, so that's nice. I will definitely, man, I'm going to have, 
I'm going to have stickers going all over this thing. So I will definitely put that up. And the case is really cool because it's, it's a, it's a, like a denim type material. And it's got, it's, it's nice. And the inside has like, uh, like Sherpa lining, you know, real fuzzy, you know, really nice. So this is, this is a really cool case. It's bad. I'm looking at all this other crap, not even looking at the knife. Okay. All right. Let's see. Oh, man, it's one of these. Uh, I don't know if this is going to truly be what this knife is, but it's like the spring steel, you know, that has all the carbon, like, striation marks in it. It's kind of like that. I really, I don't really like it. You know, like the like Damascus the the Damascus steel, you know, that has all the the carbon marks in it. I'm not really a big fan of the look. Um, you know, and I can already see the blade kind of has that that look to it. And we'll get into the book and we'll see what it, what it's all about, what the book has to say about it. But the scales are are nice, and it does have a pocket clip. So here, I guess let me show you guys. You know the scales are, are nice. It's it's like a it's like a it's like a grayish. A, this is going to sound dumb for me to say. It's like a grayish black. It's it's not gray and it's not black. It's like charcoal. It's like a charcoalish kind of color. But they 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 almost don't have any feel to it. Hmm. Okay, anyway, got a pocket clip on this side. Got a pocket clip. And we do have a thumb, a thumb deployer here and a a deploying notch up here. And the deploying notch works. And it was really I don't know if it was just stuck. And but it come out, it come out, I mean you saw it come out real nice. And here's that blade. Let's see if I can get a good look on this blade. Hopefully you guys can see the, the the all the patterning there, the like marbling in the, in the steel there. So now with the blade deployed, we do have a slight sweep here, and then we have like a little, little choil almost here that 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 turns up into your your uh, thumb deploying notch there. And it's actually the same, the same radius. It, it follows that, and it does have your uh, your liner lock does have some some uh, some uh, jimping in it, as does your your flick out your flick out notch here. So it it integrates. Let's see. Nothing nothing remarkable, you know. You can tell from how it looks. It's not going to be nothing that's going to be mind blowing. It fits in your hand. Just like it, any other knife would. The length of it, again, you can tell from my hand, I still have a little bit of the tail sticking out of my grip, which for me, maybe I'm just lucky that I, I have smaller hands because knives, they have to be ridiculously bad for me not to be able to get a good grip. And this, this knife feels good. You know, it feels good in the hand. It has good weight. It's not real heavy. You know the the weight's actually the weight's actually really good. Like with with the blade deployed, it's very very balanced. It's very very balanced. It's very nice. And we do have some jimping right here that goes from the tail of the blade to where your thumb deploying tab is there. Let's see if that'll. And I, I can't tell if that's going to show up or not, but it's just a little bit right there. It's just a little pad. It's not overly aggressive. But when you when you get your thumb into it, it's going to give you the confidence that you're you're holding on to it, that you're not going to lose control of it. So, which is what it should be. Okay. Uh, the blade, I'm not like shape wise perfect. Have no no gripes about the profile. Uh, it's just you know, I, and, and you know this isn't a deal breaker. Like the from, the aesthetic of the blade is not a deal breaker for me. It's just not something that, like if I had this knife sitting in a case open like this, and then I had some of the other knives that I've shown on my channel, 
that you guys have seen, hopefully, if you've been watching other videos. Um, I would probably choose other knives over this. Other than, let's see what the what BattleBox has to say about the price, and we'll talk about this when we get to the box. Okay, so, if you would have got the basic box, which would have been, what, 30, 35-ish bucks with shipping and handling, plus shipping and handling, you would have got the pod safety flare. Uh, let's see. Okay, it does use AAA batteries. It says right here it uses, it does use AAA batteries. Uh, let's see, blah, 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 blah. And it says this thing was uh, featured on an episode of Southern Survival on Netflix. So if you watch that show on Netflix, I really don't watch a whole lot of TV, but uh, if, you, if you do watch it, the, apparently this is, this is one of the things that would, the, whoever the guy is on the show used on, on an episode. So there you go. It says we got a price of $8.99 for that. Okay, you would have also received the Pale Blue the four-pack of AAA USB-C rechargeable smart batteries. These are not dumb batteries. They are smart. 30 bucks for these. And I'm going to tell you, when you get into batteries like this, they are, they are expensive. Okay, they are expensive. But the only thing I can tell you, if you have not tried these, just buy a kit like this and try them. You'll like them. Okay, 30 bucks. Uh, let's see. And then, also, in the basic box, you would have received your little UCO candle lantern, which I think is a really cool, this is a really cool little item, I'll have to say. You know, UCO is one of these really just over-commercialized brands that, you know, some people, some people, some people, might say they sell, you know, a lot of cheap, just gimmicky crap. You know, because you see a lot of UCO gear in in uh, Academy, Walmart, you know, stores like that. But I will say this: I use. I don't have a problem with a lot of their products, especially a lot of their fire starting stuff. Uh, I use a lot of UCO matches, a lot of their stormproof matches, their windproof matches. No, no complaints. That all that stuff's awesome. I just, you know, a lot of people that I talk to. You know, they just, whenever they see UCO, they kind of, nah, you know, you know, they want some kind of obscure survival stuff that I've never heard of, but I've never really had a problem with them. So, like I said, that would be a good place for you to go to the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about any of this stuff so far. And I'm going to tell you, I like this, this little lantern. I think it's a really cool little piece of gear, and I can't wait to actually go get out camping and actually try it. And I will definitely do that. So there we go. $29.99. Okay. I maybe like it a little bit less now. 30 bucks. Whew, 30 bucks. Okay. Okay, so let's see. They're saying that it will provide heat and natural light for up to nine hours per candle. It says, as the candle burns, the spring power tube pushes the candle up for a reliable constant flame okay so apparently there's a spring at the bottom of this this thing here well there you go there's a spring okay okay i can see the justification for the the price because it's not just a a little case with a with a, a candle in it okay all right maybe my my cringe was a little premature okay i i think i'm, I'm gonna say just on what I'm seeing, 30 bucks, fair, fair enough. Okay, that all that, these three items were in the basic box. So you would have got that in the basic box for around 35 bucks. Yeah, you would have you done okay. You would have got the batteries, you would have got the flare, and you would have got the candle. Not bad, right? I think I think not bad. Okay, if you step up to the advanced box. We're looking at, what, 65? Man, I hope these prices are right that I got. 65, I think 65, plus shipping and handling. You would have added the... Doorstep. Ooh, man, 50 bucks. Okay, you guys tell me, uh, would you need to add a step for 50 bucks? Well, I guess, I mean, if, I guess if, if you, you know, if you're really needing to get, you know, like here on the other side here, it's got a picture of a, of a chick. Well, it's the same vehicle in all the pictures, though. It's the same vehicle. Okay. 
but you got a chick messing with a kayak on her on the roof of her car. So yeah, that that could be a thing, you know. All right, we'll let the we'll leave the chick showing there. All right, so yeah, uh, I don't really need to explain it other than to take it out and see if it actually works like it shows and I don't see why it really wouldn't because it's got a little hook that goes up into the the uh, the clasp of the door so yeah okay so that you would have added that this particular product in the advanced box and like I said 49.95 price tag on that okay so we step up to the pro box the pro box is about a buck 20 120 plus shipping and handling okay now in that box you would have added the super awesome tire gauge and both sets of the ratchet straps. The motorcycle, I don't know why I did that because they're both down here. Uh, you would have added the motorcycle tie down and the regular ratchet strap set. So both sets would have came and uh, those, all three, all three of the pieces, both sets of the straps and the tire gauge carry a $79.70 price tag. The straps are nice. They are nice. And I, I do know because uh, one of the show cars that I haul on a trailer, you know, we bought the, we bought a set of, of ratchet straps just for the car, you know, that to go over the tires. So you can, you know, when you put the car on the trailer, you tie it down from the tires. The things were, they, the things were not cheap. They were expensive. So the quality of the straps, I'm not going to say, I'm going to say 80 bucks is, is fair. It's fair for that. And you would have got that plus everything else in the Pro Box for 120 right? Yeah, you'd have come out okay. I think you'd have been all right. All right, now let's go to the Pro Plus Box. This box, you're in it for about 170 plus shipping and handling. You would have added the, okay, and the, the company is C-I-V-I-V-I. Civivi? Sai Vivi? Sai Vivi? Siva Viv, I don't know. C I V I V I. Brazen flipper and thumb stud knife. Boy, that's, I hope that's not the title of this thing because that's, man, you couldn't come up with something better than that. Nope, it says it's a brazen. That's the name of the knife, a brazen. It says dark, okay, okay, maybe I'm colorblind. Now I see it. Never mind. It says dark green micarta handle. Dark green. And now that now that I say dark green, now I'm kind of seeing a hint of a hint of green in, in those scales. So yeah, it's a dark green. Okay. It says. Oh boy, they're they're pumping up the blade, man. They're talking about how sexy the blade is. The blade is so sexy. It's a flat grind. Hand rubbed. Man, this is not that type of channel, man. Damascus blade, 58 to 60 HRC puts it on. I'm gonna say this: uh, 58 to 60 HRC puts it on par with like what D2 tool steel, right? Maybe, maybe not. If that's wrong, forget I said that. I did not say it. Okay, my card of scales, G10 backspacer, okay. Oh, and it does have a, a, man, that's a very small lashing hole on the back. I'm talking about small. Can you guys even see that right here, that, that little, I mean, it is small. Okay, all right. So you got that on the butt, and like I said, you do got a pocket clip. It says it is a cage ceramic ball bearing for the locking mechanism, which is a liner lock. So once it's in, okay. Okay, I can't, I can deploy it easy enough with just the thumb stud. And once you get over that initial, you know, that initial pivot, yeah, it comes out, it comes out super, super easy. I mean, it, it, it it's super, super easy but once it's once it's seated back into the frame it takes it takes a little a little force to to get it out and it deploys really really smooth so yeah of course no issue there all right good and yeah it, it's it's you know it, it, it's not a small knife 
the overall length open is almost eight inches. It says 7.98 inches. So it's almost eight inches, you know, when deployed. Eight inches. Blade lengths 3.46, closed lengths 4.52. So it's a little big, but uh, I would definitely, I mean, I, I don't know why every video I do this, I look around my table thinking I have like my pocket knife or something sitting up here. Uh, my pocket knife is probably bigger than this, the one I'm currently carrying. Matter of fact, the one I'm carrying now is from two videos ago. I think maybe I don't know it's a recent video that I did is is the knife I'm carrying now but I will say this the pictures you know make this thing look really pretty because obviously these are very optimized pictures especially this this one down here you know these these are really good lighting and all that kind of stuff but you know it I think it really to me it's gonna come down to how do you feel about the Damascus type steel uh, if you if you really like that then you're gonna love this knife it's gonna give you everything that you want and more so there you go okay that's it that's all I got guys this is the battle box mission brief what 94 coming in for December 2022 hit, hit the comment section down below let me know what you think what was uh, was this a good box you know did it Be like Caesar, thumbs up, thumbs down. <laughs> you know, which one is it? You know, woo, which one is it? Thumbs up, thumbs down. I'm going to tell you. Uh, to be honest with you, the only two things that I think, like if I'm going to just go hard on this box and say, okay, this is trash, it would be these two. For me. This is for me. Okay. These two things. I'm going to say these two things to me are, are the lower end of my excitement level for this particular box. I don't have a problem with the tire gauge. Uh, you know, I have them in the doors of my truck, so, you know, I, I always need a good, a really good tire gauge because I do haul a lot of trailers. So, if you haul trailers, you need a tire gauge. And the straps, you know, even though I don't have a motorcycle, you know, but here's the beauty. I forgot, I got friends that got motorcycles, you know, and there you go, man, again. I'm such a thoughtful gift giver. Thought just of you that have that motorcycle. Set of straps when you need to tie your bike down. There you go. Most thoughtful friend in the world. Anyway, if you made it this far, I greatly appreciate you. And hit, hit that comment section uh, and let me know what you think about this. You know, I think I already said that. But if you made it this far, I really do appreciate it. And thank you for hanging out with me. I'll put a subscription button a next video as per usual just because it's so easy for me to do it it's a little thing i just put it in youtube boop, boop, and puts it up there all right i'm out of here guys this is mission brief number 94 let me know what you think and we will see you next time peace